Things aren't looking too bright for NASA's Opportunity rover. Launched in 2004, the Mars Opportunity rover has provided Earth with awesome Martian imagery for the last 15 years. But NASA lost contact with the robot this week after a massive dust storm set about its position on the red planet. That storm has, according to the space agency, darkened the Martian skies almost completely, making it hard for the solar-powered machine to operate. This series of images comes from Opportunity before NASA lost contact. From left to right, we can see how dark it got due to the dust storm. The space agency believes the robot has entered low power mode where only a mission clock remains active. The dust storm, active since May 30th, covers some 14 million square miles of Mars. For comparison, that's more than double the size of Russia, Earth's largest country. Curiosity, NASA's other Martian rover, is nuclear-powered and not reliant on the sun. It was able to beam back these images of the dust storm. As for opportunity, the space agency reckons the large amounts of dust it has encountered will halt it from charging for a few days. Here's some cool space stories. Uncrewed space plane nails drop test. Scientists dropped this space plane from a helicopter over the Mojave Desert on Saturday. The privately built autonomous Dream Chaser space plane completed a free flight drop test in California on Saturday, November 11th. It can carry seven passengers and looks like a smaller version of current NASA shuttles. Dream Chaser will use Atlas rockets to fly half a dozen delivery missions to the International Space Station by 2024. The test examined the plane during the final approach and landing phase of flight. The Dream Chaser was uncrewed, meaning it was flying on auto. But despite that, it pretty much crossed the drop test. 8,000 feet. Copy 8,000. Here I am. Good radar altimeters. Approach and land. PTIs. Copy approach and land. PTIs are active. Copy. PTI is complete. 400 feet. Copy. 400. Landing gear. Copy. Gear deploy. Good gear deploy. High feet. Touchdown. China's concept, Martian Forest City. Matt Damon sure could have used one of these concept Mars homes in 2015's The Martian. The concept from the Chinese space agency, Tongji University, and Stefano Boedi Architects would see a spaceship ferry a colony of massive pods containing forest cities from Earth toward Mars. Once the pods have touched down on the red planet, in Habitat reports they would use ecosystemic seeds to take root. This colony of forest city giant pods, dubbed New Shanghai, would also reportedly contain an infrastructure and an Earth-like atmosphere. Would you like to live in New Shanghai? China to clean up space junk with lasers. From magnets to giant nets, scientists have thought of all sorts of ways to rid the Earth of its space garbage, but leave it to China to come up with the most audacious plan. Earth's orbit is currently cluttered with fragments from old satellites and rocket stages called space debris, which number at least 20,000. Satellites and spacecrafts are frequently at risk of colliding with the fragments and being damaged by even small, pebble-sized pieces. To address this problem, Chinese researchers have proposed launching a satellite-mounted laser that will emit short bursts of infrared light to target small debris. The laser will break down the space debris into tiny, harmless particles and hopefully rid the Earth of its space junk. The plan sounds reasonable enough, but of course, with China, there's no telling if the space laser will actually be for cleaning or be used as a tool for world domination. There's ice on Mars. Sheets of ice exist close to the Martian surface. New research published in the journal Science looked at data from spacecraft on eight locations on Mars and found large swaths of ice. The sheets are said to be located near the surface, as well as close to depths of 100 meters. Researchers also found cliffs made up of water ice. According to science, the ice sheets could be useful for future missions to Mars. In other words, water might just be within our reach on Mars. How cool is that? 
No more photography duty for astronauts. The Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency has developed a cute floating camera drone that can lighten the workload of astronauts on the International Space Station. The Int Ball weighs 1 kilo and has a diameter of 15 centimeters. It uses the existing drone technology, miniaturized altitude control sensors and actuators in an all-in-one module. The Int Ball arrived at the International Space Station last month and is remotely controlled by the JAXA Tsukuba Space Center from the ground. In the future, the Int Ball is expected to take over photography duties from the space crew and will be able to operate autonomously. At the moment, astronauts on the ISS spend around 10% of their time just taking photos and videos. With this camera drone's help, they now perhaps will have a bit more personal time in space. Martian atmosphere could be used to make oxygen and rocket fuel. Mars may one day be able to sustain a human outpost with the help from the planet's own environment. 96% of the Martian atmosphere is made up of carbon dioxide. Researchers believe this abundant resource, combined with the cold Martian temperature and non-thermal plasma, can produce oxygen and carbon monoxide. Local production of these gases on Mars could, in theory, help sustain an outpost or even colony on the Red Planet with oxygen and help with the deeper exploration of the solar system using carbon monoxide as fuel. But that being said, it's all speculation for the moment. So it looks like we won't be joining Matt Damon anytime soon. We're going back to the moon. Aerospace companies United Launch Alliance and Bigelow Aerospace are collaborating to put a space station in orbit around the moon. The Lunar Depot plan is aimed at placing a Bigelow B-330 inflatable habitat in low lunar orbit by the end of 2022. ULA's Vulcan rocket will launch the B-330 into lower Earth orbit, where it will stay for about a year. While there, the habitat will receive supplies and get crew members rotated every few months. Two more Vulcan rockets will then be launched and their upper stages left in orbit. After propellant from one stage is transferred to the other, the fully fueled stage will attach the B-330 and propel it to its final position orbiting the moon. The companies claim the habitat can serve both as a platform for lunar business development and a location for NASA to conduct exploration and astronaut training missions.